In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Skim API to fetch a user, fetch a public group, and then add a user into a public group. You can see that I've already set up some Postman collections to handle these types of requests. First up, we need to use the API to get our user ID. So under Get Users, you can see here that I've already formatted the request so that it's hitting forward slash services, forward slash skim, forward slash v2, forward slash users. It's a simple get request. And when I run this request, it's going to simply return me a list of all of the users with the user IDs. This is important because I'm going to need the user ID at a later point to add a user into a public group. So you can see here that it's returned details of all of the users in my org. And I'm going to scroll down to find my user and then grab the ID. So now that I've got my user ID, I'm going to hit the groups endpoint to now return a list of groups. So you can see here that the format of this request is slightly different. I'm hitting forward slash groups instead of forward slash users. And I'm going to press send. And the API is now going to return to me all groups that exist within the org. Because of how the group object is used by Salesforce, it's going to return different types of groups. So from here, it's actually returned a queue. This is a regular public group. And again, I've got some more regular public groups here as well. So I'm going to grab the ID of the HR public group. And I'm going to save that for later. And now I am going to patch a request to add a user to a particular group. So you can see here that I've got patch groups set up already. I've used the example schema from help.salesforce.com. I'll link the full details in the description. And you can see that the request has to be formatted in a certain way. So within the request URL, I need to fill in the group ID at the end. And then within the body of the request, I want to add members. And you can see here, this is a placeholder for my user ID. So I'm going to pop that in and then send the request. And you can now see that my user has been successfully added into the group because I've got a 200 OK response back. And similarly, if I wanted to remove this user from this group, I would change the operation from add to remove, send the request. The request has now returned a successful response. And within Salesforce Org, the user has now successfully been removed from that group.